Hey, welcome back to Gadgetplex. If you're in the dark about LED lights, let us uh, clarify things for you. Uh, we are talking about LED lighting and some of the advantages, and uh, really, uh, uh, the, there are many because, uh, or the, the, there's two big ones really, and that is the cost and the and the durability. But we were talking a little bit about the downside, and um, just you know, on a typical rig, what do you? I mean, if you were going to replace all of your lights with LEDs in a typical rig, where what where would we uh, where would we wind up cost wise, Phil? So I did a little um, audit on uh, my rig. We got a thirty seven foot uh, Dolphin motorhome. We've got we've got sixteen kind of plug in lights and twelve fluorescent bulbs. Mm -hmm. So I did a quick calculation. That's about eight hundred bucks, um, which is you know it's not uh, insignificant, and that doesn't include the the tail lights and things that we'd want to replace. Right. Um, but uh, you know I think the thing that uh, you want to do is. It's, a, it's definitely a good thing to do. Um, so, so you know, maybe the the way of doing it would be just a, a little bit at a time. You know, a, a bulb <laughs> yeah. breaks, replace it with a with a, an LED one, and, and over a period of time, um, you know, just like we I think we did with the um, as we went from incandescent to those little mini fluorescent ones. That, right. At least that's what I did, the low energy ones in, in your home, um, and then over a period of time, you you know, you get where you want to be. Yeah. Well, I think it would be kind of interesting. Like if you had fluorescence on one side on the back of your RV, and then LEDs on the other side. So when you hear the brake lights, then you have this sort of interesting little effect, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, it kind of looked cool. And if you pulsed it, it would look, look oh, kind it'd be of great. A yeah. psychedelic. So. It'd be sort <laughs> of know, a they, they, highway they, they disco. They do look very good. And I know that's not one of the things that we, we do, but you know, if you, if you, if you, once once you get into these sorts of things, you start noticing thing and it's like you know oh that's a halogen headlight on a you know if i'm right. into cars oh, but yeah, on sure. the back of uh, back of rvs you can definitely tell the difference between the ones that have um led brake lights and none that don't and you right. know now we've now we've mentioned about the speed of them turning on and off you you watch and you can you can actually see it it's amazing that's uh, yeah I'll, I'll have to look for that now but i think i mean the, the <laughs> it's kind of a funny idea but i think the idea would be that if you burned out a brake light you know spring for the extra bulb and get two so that your both of your brake lights kind of match up <laughs> that's probably uh, that's probably a good thing to do <laughs> yeah that would be the best thing to do at least at least that way you'd have sort of a symmetry about it even if they're not all uh all leds or or incandescents so um but but what if you don't want I mean, if you don't want to do that expense of you know re-outfitting everything um there's a lot of uh, uh first of all you can do it a little bit at a time obviously but there's also some great gadgets out there uh lighting gadgets that that make use of these great uh, uh led lights and uh, yeah, you, exactly. we have some pictures uh, of some of those i was just gonna say yeah we've got a couple of these that i can show you i mean we, we're all fairly familiar with the uh, you know led flashlights they've been around for a long time right right um, here's one that we have um which is kind of fun it's got a um it's like 12, I think, LED lights there. But right. it's also got, I don't know whether that comes out, but it, it yeah, switches into black light mode. And oh, this is, really? This is one of those ones that's like a, a, a solution looking for a problem. You know, yeah. People say, <laughs> why would you want to put a, a, why When we were selling these, people say, why would you want a, a, a black light or an ultraviolet light and a flashlight? And I, so, of course, I then had to do some research as to, you know, Google, why would you want a ultraviolet flashlight? Well, there's good reasons. Uh, if you want to go scorpion hunting, yeah. scorpions, fluorescent, ultraviolet light. Honestly. Um, Many uh, and people who uh, we were at courtside and somebody, quite a few people were coming over asking for them because certain gems that people or, or um, rocks that people were looking for um, fluoresce under ultraviolet light. And right. So that was another thing. Well, I'll tell you, um, I'll, then, course, I'll, I'll give you another CSI thing. But, yeah, they're sorry. looking for blood and you know, solving your own mysteries. Yes, do it yourself. Do it yourself, yeah, yeah. coppery would not be the do thing to do. <laughs> coppery. And the final one with this one is if you have a cat or a dog that likes this, it's, it's the whole, um, it's got a, it's got a, um, a laser on here as well. So oh, that's, uh, okay. that's always fun if you have, uh, you have kids or animals around. Yes, it makes an excellent cat confuser, and you will wear out the battery pretty fast with something like that, uh, because you'll want to play with that a lot. <laughs> Although, oh, I think yeah. the, the yeah. laser lights wear out, uh, burn out the battery a lot faster. The other thing, I thought you were going to say something else, but the uh, uh, the fact is that a, a black light is a very handy thing to have uh, for uh, if you travel with a pet, because... Um, and, and I ought to, we ought to ask uh, Dr. Jill Windy, who does our Tales from the Road show, about this. But uh, black lights, uh, ultraviolet lights like that, can be used to detect uh, dermatological problems on animals and, and actually on people as well. But uh, the, it's, uh, it's used in, uh, for medical purposes in a number of cases, specifically that. Plus, uh, it will make your dandruff show up real, oh, real, hot, real hot and heavy. Yeah. 
<laughs> if if you're interested in that, you know, your font, your font of knowledge. Though. I know. I realize that. Yes, that's true. Okay. So um, anyway, so you have that. That's a great flashlight. We had a picture of that flashlight, uh, an actual uh, picture of it. Uh, if Courtney can bring that up, yeah. There we go. That's is yeah. that the light you were just showing us on screen? Yes. Yeah, that's the one I'm showing. And then if she, I think we've got another one as well. Just a, just a little a little one that's uh, um, that's it. These are. Um, like the proverbial joke, you know, with the solar-powered flashlight. Well, these actually are solar-powered flashlights. Right. And you can see that they're useful just for sticking on your keychain. Um, the, they've got a little mini rechargeable battery inside and two mm -hmm. LED lights. It, they're amazing. It lasts for hours. I don't know how it does it. And you, I, I have it on my keychain. Um, people always ask me, well, you know, isn't it a bit of a drag having to leave it in the sun to charge up? I've mm -hmm. never left mine in the sun. It just picks up ambient light and sure. is always on my keychain for when I'm coming back to the RV or, you know, it's like you always need a flashlight when you don't have one. That's right. just one of those things. But so I, so I have this on my keychain, and they're, they're, they're you know they're, they're not definitely they're, they're not the, the brightest, um, but they're they're pretty good. Um, certainly was, better than not having one at all. And that's that's you know it's the kind of thing that uh, when you're uh, you know you're trying to check the uh, uh, something in in one of the outside uh, access doors of your RV at night, something's gone wrong. You're trying to look at a water pump or uh, or at the hot water heater from the outside or something. You think you might have a problem. That's the kind of light you want. Uh, and uh, you know, because it's it's small, you can get into a little crevice with it and see see what you're looking at. I, I would think that that would be a very handy thing to have. But yeah, as long as you're not keeping it in yep. your pocket all the time, it's going to pick up uh, light to recharge itself. Correct? Yeah, that's okay. yeah, that's right. Just hang, I just hang, I just hang. Is it? Is one that I have. I just, I just hang it on a keychain, um, and it, it's you know sort of gets ambient light and, and is there when I need it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, great. Well, we're going to come back in just a minute with more fun LED devices, things to light up your RV life. So stay with us here on Gadgetplex. Got a question or comment for Gadgetplex's Phil May? Send him an email at gadgetplex at rvnn.tv or leave a voicemail for Phil at 877-578-RVNN, extension 703. Follow RV Newsnet on Facebook and Twitter, and you can receive text messages to alert you when we're streaming live by texting. RVNN to 72727. That way, you can join us live in the chat room, ask questions, and become part of the RV NewsNet family. Remember, any photos or other material submitted to us become the property of RV NewsNet and cannot be returned. Today's show is brought to you by Angie's List, where you'll find thousands of unbiased reports and reviews about service companies in your area. Whether you're looking for a roofer, plumber, house cleaner, dentist, or even a doctor, Angie's List members share their experiences with each other so that you can choose the service company that's right for your job. Companies can't pay to be on Angie's List, and the reviews come from people just like you who have had experience with the companies mentioned. To find out more, go to rvnn.tv and click on the Angie's List ad. 